All right. Am I right? Yes. So just calculate the wear load using an equation number 12.26 in the page number 214. Use that particular equation to calculate the value of wear load there. There D1 is, since you are designing everything on the pinion, so D1 is 80 mm. Q is just two times of D2 divided by D1 plus D2, so it is 1.6. I have calculated and give, given you the values. So when you are calculating the value of K, so certain things are there. Since, see, sigma ES is given 618 megapascal. Inevitably, you have to go with the formula. Okay. So, if you want to go with the formula, E1 and E2 values are not given. So, when E1 and E2 values are not given in the problem statement, I have told you, always assume 210 megapascal, 210 gigapascal GPA. So, 210 in the sense, it is 2.1 into 10 to the power of my megapascal. Always assume this particular value for the gas. Okay. So, assume those things. And one more thing, it is not alpha here, it is alpha n. So if you observe the data handbook from where it has been taken, 12.26 uh, C214. So I'll just go with that particular equation. 214, 214. So in this particular 214, here it is. Okay, the limiting load for that. So this has to be greater than FD he has given, very good. So you can pick the equation from here. This is the, uh, you'll get it in under helical gears. Man. So no need, uh, no, nothing to be con getting confused here. Okay, it is just below the helical gear itself. You can pick that particular equation. No need to, the speciality of the design subject is, you no need to remember anything except the values. Like suppose if E is not given what you have to remember. At the end of the day, what you have to do is, uh, in my notes, so, uh, Wherever the new things are there, I will be highlighting in the red color. Okay. For example, it is ZD1 here, uh, table numbers, equation numbers. Those you have to be well versed. That's it. Everything is available in the data handbook. Nothing you have to remember. Nothing you have to buy heart. Okay. So while preparing for the examination, what you do in every module, suppose in case of a spur gap, what are the different things that you may have to assume if it is not given? You just list it down. Okay, hardly it would be around five parameters, isn't it? So when you list down, so everything would be clear. So when you observe the K factor equation is given here, you can take that particular equation uh, in that alpha N would be there. So here it is alpha N, it is not just alpha. Okay, so uh, alpha N, how you are supposed to calculate, you have to go for equation number 12.22B in the page number 211, where it says, tan alpha n is equal to tan alpha plus into cos beta. Just substitute the values. Alpha you know, which is 20. Beta you know, which is 45. Calculate the value of alpha n. And once alpha n is calculated, calculate the value of k. So once k is calculated, calculate the value of wear load. Okay. Keep calculating, guys. It's pretty important that you calculate in the class itself because whenever you calculate, you'll get to know where you are going wrong and what you, you need to assume, what will be given in the problem, all the stuff you'll get to know. So this is not a subject where you sit and study for just before two to three days before the examination. That is not going to happen. Okay. So make sure you just practice. What is that 
alpha n. So alpha n, I would just write it as 14.43. Just check the value. 14.43. Yeah. So once alpha n is there, just substitute 14.43 here and give me the value of k. So whatever the statements I have written, please kindly take those. Those are very important. Very, very important. Because through those statements itself, you would be in a position to decide. You will be in a position to go along with the problem. Without those statements, you will never ever understand. You will feel that there is just a formula substitution. Formula data handbook substitute But many of the parameters would not be given. Okay. In such case, what you have to do? So all those stuff would be written in the form of statements. So make sure you write those in your notes. Those are very, very important. Zero point zero six four K value was zero point K value. Wala. So, has other, yes, sir. Okay, so this k value was 0 0.0644. Okay, 2.48. Everyone got the same value? Yes, Let's check the value. What was our FD? 1.56. 2.48 is the correct value. So the design subject only when you will feel comfortable, only when you solve the problems. Okay. Value of K. Okay. So if you do not solve it, Zero, okay, zero six four. Ah, huh? acha. Okay, zero six four. Okay, three FW three one four. In terms of kilonewton, can I just write it as? 3.147 kilo newtons. Just check the value. Very good. So most of you are getting that. So since uh, what was our FD value? Just write the FD value. It was something 1.56. Okay. So FD value is 1.56 kilo newton. So write a beautiful statement at the end. Since FW is greater than FD, material is safe against the bar and close the problem. So once you do this particular problem, you will straight away hit 20 marks, guys. 20 marks. It's not a joke. So the gear problem, specialty of the gear problems is each problem would carry 20 marks straight away. Okay. So that's why solving the gear problems is very important. Everyone would solve. Everyone would solve because everyone would have the formulas with them, isn't it? So everyone would ha have the formulas with them. Everyone will write the formulas. Everyone will substitute the things. But everyone will not get the same marks. Then why there is a difference? The difference is in uh, how would you approach the design problems? So the approach is very important. 
that what we have been discussing no those steps are very important that's why i say you whenever you solve the problem uh, solve along with me so that we can discuss and uh, get to know okay so if you do not solve you will never come to know it seems easy like there will be a formula you can just take it and substitute and get the values no it is not as such little bit more okay <clears throat> So if you solve this particular problem, twenty marks are in your pocket. Okay. Vikit, I'll just uh, mute you. Okay. Ah. Shall we move on to the next problem then? Okay, sir. So this is the next problem. Okay, take down the given data. The following data refers to a design of a helical gear drive. So clearly he has mentioned it as a helical gear. Power transmitted is 34 kilowatts. All the stuff you just write. So I want everyone to solve this particular problem along with me. I'll be checking each and every ones randomly. Okay. Again, this was asked for twenty marks straight away. Okay, how many of you referred the question papers? By the way, anyone referred question papers? ಒಬ್ರು ರೆಫರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಲ್ವಾ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ರೆಫರ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸ್ಪರ್ಗ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿನಿಶ್ ನೋ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅನ್ ಐಡಿಯಾ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಕಂಟೆಂಟ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ಡ್ ವೆದರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಐ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ಟು ಸಾಲ್ವ್ ದೋಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಚೆಕ್ ನೋ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ನೋ how it would be and one more uh, uh, unique features of the design to subject is only the gears aspect uh, like the spur gear helical gear bevel gear and a worm gear are interconnected interconnected in the sense uh, not necessary that you have to read a spur gear to solve the problems on a bevel gear nothing like that but yes it is interconnected concepts are same formulas would be little bit same everything would be same okay but apart from gears if you take gear as a whole every other thing every other module every other part it is totally different okay it is not necessarily that if you read module number 1 you have to definitely read module number 1 then only you can read module number 2 there is nowhere like that in design 2 you can pick any of the topic and learn the design of it okay so that is the beauty of this particular subject so if you read the belts there is nowhere connected it with the springs if you read clutches it has nowhere connected with the brakes if you read bearings it is nowhere connected with the gears I like that entirely are the different subjects different platforms different topics okay so whichever a component you feel interesting you can just learn the design of it now so first thing what i can write is the given problem is on the helical gear very good power transmitted is 34 kilowatt that is the power transmitted of the pinion he says so i would just draw a pinion and a gear so this is pinion so i would take it as 1 next i would take a gear as 2 so n1 he has given as how much 2800 rpm uh speed ratio i he has given so i is 
number of teeth in the pinion is given so number of teeth in the pinion is z1 is equal to 18 teeth okay i is 4.5 is given so naturally you can calculate the value of n2 and uh, z2 okay if you calculate it it would be z2 would be around 81 number of teeth and n2 would be around calculate the things n2 how much just calculate and keep it okay next helix angle is 25 so the value of beta is being given there helix angle beta that is equals to 25 degrees which is the helix angle and for your first internals all four gears should be there okay um spur gear helical bevel and berm okay helix angle is there next what else you have helix angle is being given a uh, pressure angle alpha is equal to 20 degrees stub system it's not full depth it is a stub material for both pinion and gear is medium carbon steel whose allowable stress value may be taken as 240 megapascal so both the materials are same i would write it as sigma d1 is equal to how much 230 megapascal and even sigma d2 as 230 megapascal so by the knowledge what you have if both the gear as well as the pinion is made up of the same material naturally one step would be reduced we would decide upon which one is a weaker part straight away if both the materials of gear and pinion are same isn't it so which you will take it as a weaker material straight away pinion that's right <clears throat> just mention it as medium carbon in a kotinda la unna ah medium carbon just mention the material medium carbon here also and here also it is the medium carbon ah medium carbon medium carbon pinion diameter is limited to 125 mm he says okay so i would just write d1 so these are the type of the problems where the diameter is mentioned see in the helical gear problems no in the helical gear problems there are two types i mean to say one type is where the diameter is mentioned in the question suppose in case of this so pinion diameter is clearly mentioned here right uh, how much it is it is 125 mm okay the pinion diameter is clearly mentioned so i can write it as diameter is known and other set of problems are where the diameter is unknown we will discuss about it nothing just the module calculation formula whatever is there no you have to change the module calculation formula beside only it is that i will let you know once such type of problems we encounter as of now the diameter is given just maintain that it is 125 mm determine what all you have to determine just i will be writing that to find or to design what to design the first one axial stress you have to found out axial stress kandidbeku next on the shaft and check for dynamic and wear load so fd comma fw the gear is subject to a moderate shock and works for 10 hours per day even write that particular statement which is given the gear is subjected to a moderate shock and works at 10 hours per day okay shall we start the problem shall we start yes sir okay so identifying the weaker part was our first major step which is easily being done because since both the materials are of the same material you have directly decide upon that the pinion would be a weaker part very good next 
whenever there is a concept of helical and bevel gears remember you have to calculate the value of virtual number of teeth so whenever you need to substitute the value of z you should not substitute z but you have to substitute z to the suffix e so that particular equation where you will get you will get it in equation number 12.22a slash 211 page number take that particular equation and calculate the value of virtual number of teeth for gear as well as the pinion so what is the value z1 is how much z1 is 18 right? calculate the value of z1 which is 18 cos beta beta is to 25 so cos cube beta so what is the value of z e1 Krishikesh, Krishikesh, are you there? Yes, sir. Ah, give me the value of Z even first. Twenty-four, twenty-four point one seven. And one more concept I have told you in the last class. that do not ever ever convert this particular number virtual number of teeth to a whole number okay this is virtual the name indicates it is virtual so do not convert into a whole number just take the same thing i is 4.5 whereas the z even value you have got it as 24.171791 17, which one i am supposed to take 17 So now, so one seven substitute matter. I just brought the Z D two. One out eight point eight zero. Rishikesh, now you have to give me one zero eight. Teeth are twenty one point nine one. Z D one point nine one. Z D twenty one point nine one. Sir answer. Z even, na? Ah. Huh? Uh. Okay. No sir. Twenty four point. Any key difference? Bharta hai the. Sir, the cost cube bhi tha. Cube. Sir, ali cube bhar di thala. Cost cube. Cost cube. Cost cube or cost square? Na kana node ra thala na. Cube cube. Cost cube. Cube cube. Cube. Node equation. Yes, ti thado. Twelve point two to two one one nalla. Two one one nello unto. कॉस क्यूब है कॉस क्यूब सर कॉस स्क्वायर आगे दे सर फर्स्ट फॉर्मूला गोट आई तो गोट आई चेंज मारता है इनका कॉस क्यूब कॉस क्यूब आ ये करेक्ट उन टाइम वैल्यू हुआ विकेट रिबन यस सर यस यस सर बारिक रिजी केश आई वांट यू टू कैलकुलेट द मॉड्यूल एंड गिव मी फर्स्ट बिफोर अदर्स Okay. Ah, module calculation is same. Other story. So blueprint hack. He brought it to them already. Just follow the blueprint. Okay. And calculate the value of normal module using equation number twelve point two four B, phase number two one four. Ah, D one is total value. D one zero point one two five. 125 ha 0.125 agutte mm alli so it is 0.125 aitu n1 1200 anaitu ala 2800 ha v est to so why you are calculating v just to pick the formula for cv Okay, you are not substituting anywhere, but pick the value of C. Okay, sorry to disturb you guys. Uh, just eighteen point three eight. Just carry on with the problem and mark the attendance just now within two minutes.
okay all of you just mark the attendance and come back to the problem okay mark the attendance within next 2 minutes and come back Once you have marked, you can come back and work on the problem again. So since uh, eighteen point three two uh, is our uh, we well left, go for the data handbook for ten to twenty, which is the value of we eighteen point three two under. Pick up that particular formula, substitute the value of v there eighteen point three two, and give me the value of c. Sir, the attendance error button. Error button. Ta hak pal. राजुलेट मे बंद Point four five. Next digit, could be uh, four five four. Okay, sack four five four. Next, in any day, ah, uh, moderate shocks. But the eight to ten hours service, ten hours service, and the head is another. So eight to ten hours service. This is only the total number two thirty five page number. So two thirty five page number only. Just pick up this. Go for this particular table number there. प्रेसेशन So eight to ten hours, ten hours per day. And the head is done. So take it eight to ten hours. Medium shocks and the head is done. So the value of service factor while calculating the value of FT, it is one point five. Pick that particular value. One point five. Take on that one. So just substitute the value of P is still there. Thirty four, lah. Thirty four. Thirty four. So thirty-four V value was eighteen point three, eighteen point three two. F T could be tangential load. Okay, so only forty-six are there. So those they will be getting that announced today. Forty-seven. Okay, no mark, mark that there. So last one minute, guys. Make sure you have marked. Sir, sir, I'm going to get killed, sir. Ashil. Ashil, you know, you know, some of the words. Sir, now the synchronization error was there, sir. And that is synch. Very all synchronize up today. You don't matter about it, no. Point eight. Now calculate the form factor. For form factor, there remember why you pick the equation. There will be no z even there. You have to incorporate even. Always when you are calculating, I told you in case of a helical gear and a bubble gear, do not substitute the value of z. Substitute the value of z even. Substitute it and get me the value of uh, this thing. Capital Y form factor. Levy's form factor. So I think most of you have marked it. Okay. 
just close this up now. It is how much? 12, 0, 5, 20, 21. Ah, 0 0.42. Okay. Thank you, guys. I was sorry. I was working on another way. 0 0.427. Eager. Just assume now, since the value of nothing is being given about K and CWF, as I told you, just assume it. K is, is 15 for the helical gas. And how much you have to assume the value of K in case of a spur gap? Very good. Done. CW is 1.15. We have taken from the 12.21. So always you take since unless and until he has given some lubrication standard, continuous lubrication here today, enclosed here today, and another mention Madhidra Matra, you change the value of CW to be 1.25 or 1.35. If it has not mentioned anything in the problem, straight away go with 1.15. Okay. <clears throat> now substitute all the things and give me the value of Yemen. Then I'll just close this attendance setup. Ishpanto module. Two point one nine. Okay. Standardized model rest for it. Standardized model. Using table number twelve point two. Point five, okay. Ellie preferred one, na? First preference, huh? Yes, sir. Two point five. Two point five. Ah, mod. I do a face with calculate my Two point five into fifteen. Just like that, do. Thirty-seven something. Thirty-seven point five. Right. That is 1.5. So once you have calculated the face width in the this thing, helical gas, face width is important. I have told you. So in the helical gas, you have to always check for the value of face width, whether it is safe or not. Okay. For that, you can use this particular equation, B minimum is equal to 1.15. Either the equation number the Can you just uh, give me the equation number of this? Anyone? I have not written in the notes. Just substitute all the values and calculate the B minimum. So whatever you your calculated value of face width is there, which is this, it should be higher than the B minimum value. Simple. Okay. If it is higher than the B minimum value, then the B, whatever you have calculated, is very good. It's safe. 1.3B. Question number 12.23. 12.23, page number. 213. 213. Well, handwriting, the way I write here. 
Yes, sir. Twenty one point three seven, na minimum. Ma. Minimum is one to. That is the minimum value, was what sir? Do B minimum, ma? Yes, sir. B minimum is one to twenty one point three seven. So B minimum. निन्नी के बंदरों का फेस विड्थ वैल्यू वेस्ट तू थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव, सो ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सेवन मिनिमम मेरे बैक को, सो ऑटोमेटिकली जस्ट इधर, सो यू कैन जस्ट राइट इट, सिंस बी इज़ ग्रेटर दैन बी मिनिमम, द कैलकुलेटेड वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज़ सेफ, इज़ सेफ, नेक्स्ट, सो वंस यू हैव क to show and prove that whatever the module you have fixed upon, which is 2.5, is safe for design or not. So for that, go and check for FD1 on our okay. Take that particular equation again. Sigma D C V B Y M. So again, this particular equation is taken from where? It is taken from 12.24. A page number two one four. Okay, so since everything is based on opinion, everything sigma d is changed to sigma d one. Everything is there. Just check whether it is less than two thirty megapascal or not. Sigma d one level. One seventy six point three six. One seventy six. One seventy six point three six megapascal. So it is automatically less than two thirty megapascals. Therefore, you can declare that since the calculated value is less than the permissible value, the assumed values are satisfactory. So for me, no. Uh, in solving the entire design problem, 20 marks at the day. Yeah, the 14 marks in a calendar and to illa design problem only. Everything is above 14, 20 marks, 16, 18 marks. Either other that the questions. So the satisfaction what I get while writing such kind of statements on my answer sheet was tremendously high. I would love to write this particular sentence on my answer sheet. Okay. अंतराम मजा कोड़े तब बड़ी लिखे ना सिंस द फेस पर तो वाज़ आस्ट जस्ट कैलकुलेट द फेस पर दें कीप इट असाइड जस्ट मेंशन इट नेक्स्ट गो फॉर द डायनामिक लोड ओनली द फॉर्मूला इज़ बिग एवरीथिंग एल्स इज़ इज़ीयर कैलकुलेट द डायनामिक लोड पिक दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉर्मूला फ्रॉम टू पॉइंट Error calculation C value तो बोला दे important dynamic load अली याव दो तुम्बा important तो अंत है डर है the concepts through which you pick the C value so 99 percent you will not get the C value directly you have to have some additional mathematical stuff to get the C value so you have to refer two tables for that again it's a tedious thing okay so first thing what you have to do, you have to go for table number 
ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಲೋವರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಎರ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿ ಲೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಲೋವರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ Fifteen, it is zero point zero two three, and for twenty, it is zero point zero one five five. So one of you just calculate with the help of twenty, and others calculate with the help of fifteen. Let us see. Okay, what huge difference would you get? So. the textbook has gone with uh, the value of 15 okay so he has taken the value of 15 and he has uh, taken the problem one of you just go and check with the value of 20 also for 0.023 error uh, you come back to the previous table 0.023 Oh, there. Zero point zero two. Zero point zero two. Okay. I'll just rub this up. Now I will highlight zero point zero two. Steel and steel combo. Allah. Twenty degree stub. Allah. Twenty degree stub. Bo steel and steel combo. And right. Do. Okay. So you have the value for zero point zero two as two thirty seven point three. suppose what if i take uh, for 20 if i take it for 20 it is what 0.0155 again i can manipulate the things i can take it for 0.02 only and can cross verify the things okay no issue for 0.02 it is 237.5 to 237.3 just take that particular value so for error at 0.02 it is 237.3 i want the error at 0.023 what is the value of c so just cross multiply the things 0.023 into 237.3 is equal to c into 0.0 so please come on sir yes could you zoom out sir zoom out acha fine 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 so once you do that you'll get the value of c here like this so 272.89 yes, so once you calculate the value of c next is the substitution part substitute the huge equation there okay i don't know who's have, who have framed this equation is to that equation made about and concise made one equation made about it lingaya dali it's better the equations are tumba simple agida but when it comes to balveradde alla here the problem we all used to refer lingaya in our times ರೆಡ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬುಕ್ ಬೈ ಲಿಂಗಯ್ಯ ಅಂಡ್ ಅದ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಾಲಿಟಿ ಏನಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಲಿಂಗಯ್ಯ ಅದು ಒಂದ್ರ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಒಂದು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇದೆ ಸೊ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಬೈ ಸ್ಟೆಪ್ ಯು ನೋ ನೀ
uh, even remember the design procedure. If you keep on substituting one below the other formula, you'll get the values. Ah, calculate my DFT. Just tell me. Rishikesh. Rishikesh. I could scroll the lap, sir. Huh? Yes? I could scroll mm -hmm. the lap. Little lap, huh? Fine, fine. Okay. Rishikesh? Yes, sir. Ah, what is the value of FD calculated? I told you to give the module also. You did not even speak about it. Are you solving yeah, the yeah. problems or not? Calities. Huh? I have calculated so. Calculate and give me the value of 50 now. Ah, how much is the value of FD? FD, how much is the value of? Ah, you're taking two months of time, man. How much is the value? Seven one zero ba. Two hundred and ten point seven and the Okay. Good. Okay. So, so just calculate the dynamic load next. The last part of the problem where you calculate the value of FW. Okay, FW again go with the same equation number 12.26 there, 214 page number. B1, so since it is based on pinion, 125 is the given diameter. Oh shit, 125 is the given diameter. Okay, cube value you can calculate two times of D2 divided by D1 plus D2. That is 1.64 there. Okay. 
and uh, since sigma es value is not given okay what you have to do is you have to go with this particular equation remember this is a new concept which you are learning today which is new for today okay so since sigma es is necessary for calculating the value of k is it for calculating the value of k you require the value of sigma es so how to calculate that sigma es you have the expression this particular expression in page number 12.15d page number 208 where is that 208 page number okay so here you have the surface endurance of uh, limit is approximated using this particular expression empirical formula name so BHN is nothing but BHN is nothing but the average of BHN1 and BHN2. BHN1 is for the pinion and 2 is for the gap. So how to, even the BHN is not given, right? So what you have to do is you have to go for table number 12.15, page number 238. Ah. Go for, for that 238 page number. Uh, 38 page number. So since it is medium, something I had in the law, no? material, no? Medium cast steel. So medium cast steel hogi. Okay now. Ah, cast steel in the nodi. Okay, so medium cast steel and then go for go and take this particular BHN, which is 120. Correct. Okay. Um. So now come back here. Now. One average to go back. So, gear the 120, pinion the 120. Naturally, average could have 120. Now, substitute the value of 120 here in BHN and calculate the value of sigma ES. Yes, but no idea. Sigma ES well level. One 137.5. So 137.5, okay. Well, 137.5. So again, since uh, ES is being calculated, even on E2, what is even on E2? He has given in the problem, I guess. So since even and D2 is not given, we already learned this concept where we have to assume if even and D2 are not given as 210 GPA, which is 2.1 into 10 to the power of 5 megapascal. Sigma ES new just to calculate my degree, which is 137.5. Correct one Nitesh. Everyone got the same value, 137.5? Yes, sir. So, alpha n on calculate marbeku. Alpha n again go for this particular table number. Sorry, equation number 12.22 B211. From that, calculate the value of alpha n there. With the tan or cos or doubt, 12.22 211. Allah. 211. Cos is tan alpha n is equal to tan alpha into cos beta. And then I don't want it to worry about that. This is cos. Next one to alpha n on the value kodi. Alpha n when you done, you can just directly substitute that. Two, six,
ಸಿಗ್ಮಾ ಇ ಎಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಉಂಟಾ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ is the value of sigma e is correct okay fine then in your textbook prakare on 260 anta calculate madidane might he might be wrong so we'll just check upon no so this is 137 260 260 sir nan adhe helta idin mara textbook avan nan kottidane anta 260 260 ah alpha n est bandu kada 18.25 okay now substitute all the values to calculate the value of k and then calculate f w Rishikesh, you are not giving a single answer to me, remember. I asked you two. I asked you FD, I asked you MN. You are not given a single value till now. Point four four. Point one four. Okay. Point one four four. ಇದ್ ತಗೊಂಡಾಗ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕಿ ಎಫ್ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನೋಡಿ ಸೊ ಮೀನ್ ವೆಲ್ ನನ್ನ ಎಫ್ ಡಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಅಂತ ಬರೀತಾನೆ ಎಫ್ ಡಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎಷ್ಟಿದೆ ಟೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಇದೆ ಟೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ is the value 1347.7 okay 1.34 kilo newton ha ah, satisfactory results are ido where load ido whether the results are satisfactory are you satisfied with the results of the bear load so what had to be done you know that you do it or else we will solve it in the next class so this results are totally not satisfactory we'll make it satisfactory in the next class till then have a great time guys I have consumed 3 minutes more sorry for that take care stay at home and be safe thank you sir yeah. thank, thank you, you sir. sir thank you sir thank you sir sir solpa mail scroll matra
Thank you, sir. Okay, bye. Shall I cut the call then?